मुरली very deeply baba has uh, given us the point based on which we can check ourselves that where we are going wrong what are those subtle things which uh, i might not be able to capture so we will listen each and every what in a very alert state of mind and definitely be so conscious so welcome on in the avyakta year make your aim and qualifications the same this is the title of the murli laksha or lakshan saman ho today in corporeal and sakti babdata is seen the most elevated brahman soul in the subtle and corporeal forms all of you all of you souls in the corporeal form are personally in front of the bab data and the children who are in the subtle form are also in front of baba so in this avyakta milan baba is seen the people the children who were sitting in front of baba as well as who were celebrating this milan being in a subtle state of mind who couldn't come or who were away from their bab dada is please seen both all of you have one thought and the enthusiasm in your heart that you all become the same as the father from corporeal to subtle and subtle to incorporeal sakari to nirakari nirakari to avyakta bab dada is seeing this aim and the qualification for it in every one what is visible the aim of the majority is very good and determined but the qualifications for it are sometimes determined and sometimes ordinary bringing about equality in the aim and qualifications is a sign of becoming like the father very important line and i think we all know that there only there are percentage which baba is telling further there are some who have imbibed their aim to 99% and all the rest are number wise there are some who have imbibed their aim means to reduce the gap between aim and the qualification laksha or lakshan ke beech ka ye gap uh, finish karne me baba is telling who have imbibed their aim to 99% and all the rest are number wise however to what extent have you imbibed the qualifications constantly and easily in a natural way and made it part of your nature in this the minority are up to 90% so it doesn't come easily it doesn't come always it doesn't come naturally where baba is emphasizing that as far as 
this comes this the qualifications constantly easily swata sahaj in a natural way and made it part of your nature in this the minority are up to 90% all the rest are number wise so minority are 90% and rest uh, 10% also baba says are number wise so why is there is a difference in the aim and its qualification and making those qualifications natural and part of your nature so papa is asking so why is there a difference in the aim and its qualification and making those qualification natural and part of your nature according to the time according to the circumstances according to problems some children make their aim and its qualification the same so we can see that the time we are going through many of the souls for the last one year they have worked on themselves very well and they have reduced the gap in a enormous way maybe which was not there at all they have put so much of effort according to the time or circumstances their aim and their qualification as baba say uh, they have made it the same through making effort it's uh, baba says that uh, some children make their aim and its qualification the same through making effort but greater attention is now needed to make them natural and part of your nature right so that is really we need to think and we need to check that how much i have invited in my nature and it comes naturally for an example like as baba further say let's uh, read this line you are celebrating this year as the year of stabilizing yourself in the stage of an avyakt angel avyakt farishta sthiti bab dada is pleased seeing both the love and the effort of the children so baba is telling that if we have um, taken this aim that we will create this avyakt farishta sthiti how much it has become the part of my nature for it can be anything you might have uh, kept the aim objective to become sweet no harshness at all ever so how much it is coming naturally when there is everything okay when there is no paper no challenge no crisis definitely i am sweet but at the time of crisis at the time of uh, some upheaval when there is a need for the person to listen to me otherwise uh, you know they can make some harm of themselves can i still be sweet this is kind of a checking it can be anything you might have kept a different luxury it's completely your personal thing so with that we really need to check that how much it has come to my nature natural way you have feel nature right so nobody need to remind you that you need should do that natural it is natural so how much it has come to my nature is what is the checking and baba he is so merciful always encourage the children and that's why baba says that bab dada is pleased seeing both the love and the effort of the children and he also sings the song va children va together with this he further wishes to see equality in all the children's aim and their qualification all uh, of you thank you rashmi ben uh, there is a request uh, if you can share the modli on the screen uh, i don't have the english uh, version downloaded so it will take some time all right so then you continue i will share it okay all right yeah yes yeah, sister
I'm going little slow. So by the time Rakhi Ben can share the Murli. So Baba is telling that um, we need to stabilize ourselves in the stage of Avyakta Angel. And that is really, really wonderful. Uh, sister, uh, uh, is it okay uh, to share it like this? Will the people find or should I share it uh, from my uh, thing? So if you would give me one minute, I, I think I can share it. You would want to do that, Rishmi, then? Yes, I think uh, that way, uh, will it be very well visible to others or from the um, phone? So just give me one moment. Just do let me know if you can view my screen. Just do let me know if you can view my screen. Yes, we can. Okay. So this is the uh, paragraph we have covered so far. Just give me one moment. So where Baba? is telling us and uh, wants us to stabilize ourselves in the stage of Avyakta Angel, Avyakta Parishta Sthiti. Now Baba is telling Baba Daso one special aspect for there being a difference between aim and qualification. Why can't we reduce that gap what is the issue now baba has further discussed very beautifully uh, as i told that baba has given here few checking points so if we really would follow that so we can really uh, make a lot of progress very quickly in our journey in the path of self-progress Bhaktata saw one special aspect for their diff for there being a difference between aim and qualification, whether you become a subtle angel or incorporeal. The main basis to make this constantly your natural nature is to become egoless. Mir karita. So as Baba says that there is a percentage to imbibe it naturally in your nature and what is the barrier badha kya hai ahankar need ahankarita is the key to make that constantly in our nature naturally there are many types of ego when speaking there is one main word and that is body consciousness but there is a lot of expansion of body consciousness. Baba is saying that body consciousness but it's not a small thing only body consciousness. So further Baba said 
and one is body consciousness in the gross form which may many children do not have right we have overcome it i mean earlier we were very conscious about our attire about how we would speak how we will present ourselves definitely there is a few standards but we are not doing too much about it right very conscious about our look so these thing have gone if there is attraction to the body whether to your own body or another's that too is body consciousness so if you would read the hindi murli so what exactly baba is telling here is not the repetition of the first line which we just have read it means that sometimes we are very impressed about somebody from their personality you know they speak very well very impressive um they they have some special qualities so we like them based on that or the spiritual personality also that is also body consciousness baba says so baba further said however some children have passed the gross form even many of us have passed that also there may not have arrogance or attachment to the bodily form in the gross way but in the relation to the body deh ke sambandh mein they have special sanskar a special intellect special virtues special talents or special powers right so baba is telling the arrogance the attachment comes in relation to the body like the special sanskar how it is um for an example like um i'm very well organized for an example i keep my house very clean i organize each and everything uh, whenever i want anything i get it i don't need it need to find it it i get it exactly where i keep it or if you would have uh, gone to murli class uh, many of uh, the children are lockdown children so i'm just telling that when we go to murli class many of the elderly person also we have seen that they are sitting on the floor they're not using the chair even when the chair is free so these are the sanskaras right pehle aap jo baba kehte hain to give chance to others which is very good quality but if i am taking pride out of that look how organized i am nobody can you know beat me i always consider others i sit on the floor that is that means that i'm attached to the special sanskar very very subtle very subtle if the time permits i can share one of the story so let's see how it goes so this is how maybe it's very good very good sanskara but if i am attached or i am taking pride out of that that is arrogance very subtle way special intellect that i am very sharp the way i can grasp merely or i can write um the scripture if no matter what is the topic no one can do it whatever uh, i i i can remember very easily i can memorize thing better than others i have seen so if these are the subtle thing which is there it's good to have the special intellect but important is how my outlook or how am i taking this matter for myself special virtues right it can be like uh, you have a virtue of namrata modesty nirmanta so sometimes people have the arrogance of it uh, one of the story i would like to tell you here to understand it bit better because people would think that how can it be a uh, arrogance of special virtue not talents okay 
talent is different. Maybe just the next thing you can get to see the special talents. Maybe I'm a good singer or I paint very well, anything. So I always think that, yes, I can do it very well. I did it very well. Um, I could do it better than her. So it, it can be uh, the arrogance of special talents, which we understand. But what about the special virtue? I did remember once um, there was a program which was arranged by Delhi uh, for some training program. So considering the scenario, it was supposed to happen during uh, February in the early um, days of February. So considering the situation, they canceled it for other state and only kept it for the Delhi people. So the highest, uh, higher authority who was responsible, um, I'm in good connection with her. I'm not taking name of anyone. So the person who actually wanted me to do the training, uh, someday made me talk to her over the phone so she said uh, that Reshmi Ben I will uh, make a special consideration for you you can come to Delhi and do the training so I said uh, no no Didi uh, you should not give me any special consideration maybe there are people who are eligible or who are um, I mean who should get the chance so please don't make any special consideration for me so she said okay so the person who had asked me, uh, he's a very, very, um, I mean, very senior person, okay, whom I had just uh, spoken like this. And I'm very well connected with her. I keep on talking to her, whatever. So that person who made me talk to her, she later on told me, you know, Reshmi, this is an arrogance. I say, how come? I just want, I just being modest, Didi, I really don't want myself to have any consideration really so she said no you check yourself you're you are arrogant you have the ahankar of being modest you have the ahankar of being humble when the higher authority is giving you that chance means highest authority baba is giving you that chance and you had failed to understand because you were too much attached with your own special virtue so that was a wonderful wonderful i mean eye opener for me i really wanted to share it with everyone so that is how the arrogance work it, it, it we cannot capture it truly truly before that i i really could not uh, realize that yes this is my arrogance it's not real nirmanta. It should come naturally. It should come naturally. So somewhere I'm taking pride out of it. And that is the reason I'm giving answer to that person like this. I, I fail to understand that who is going to give me the chance. Because there is a barrier, as Baba says, ahinkar, badhai. <clears throat> okay, so going further, the ego of those that is arrogance, ahankar, intoxication, nasha, and bossiness, robe, are the subtle arrogance of the body, nasha, of that talents, that I can do it very well, I can sing very well, even some singer is singing on the stage, I think, hmm, had I been there, I could have performed maybe better, so that is also arrogance, right? That is also arrogance. You, you check yourself in a very subtle way. That is why I'm spending so much of time in this two line. Trust me, beautiful. If we would do this, trust me, it is, it is a wonderful, wonderful exercise. Bossiness, robe. Maybe I'm experienced into something. So the person who has come into this field knew. So I'm thinking that, you know what? Like, I'm very experienced about it. I know how to create this. I know how to do it. I know how to present it. So you better listen to me. I can guide you better. So if these are the thoughts, then definitely there is a role. Arrogance, intoxication, bossiness, ahankar, nasha, and role are the subtle arrogance of the body. Out of all the subtle type of arrogance, if there is 
any type of arrogance, then neither can you naturally and constantly become a subtle angel. Akari Farishta, Jusko Baba Kepe hai, wo hum nahi ban paenge. We cannot be a Akari subtle angel if we cannot leave this thing, this arrogance, intoxication, and bossiness. Nor can you become incorporeal, nirakari, because subtle angel, akari farishta, also do not have any body consciousness. They are double light. If somebody is not unmute, you can mute yourself. I mean, in unmute state. Okay. So Baba says that because subtle angels do not have any body consciousness, they are double light. The arrogance of the body doesn't allow you to become incorporeal. Everyone has paid very good attention this year. There is zeal and enthusiasm. There is a very good desire. You want this too. Yes, we want this too, right? But let there be further attention, please, Baba says. There, let there be further attention, please. Check. Does any type of ego or arrogance change your natural form into the form of effort maker? So Baba says, Aisa to nahi ke ye out of this ahinkar, out of this nasha rog, juchi is naturally banna chahiye, that is leading us to the effort making, usme hume mehnat lag raha hai. Is there a trace of subtle form of ego that still remains, which may emerge according to the time or sometimes even according to the service? जब हम कोई कार्य करते हैं उसमें हमें बहुत सफलता मिलती है या कोई सेवा करता है इज इट लाइक दैट ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम माई दिस ईगो और आरगिंग थिंग्स आर कमिंग इन अमर्ज फॉर्म इट इज इमर्जिंग देन कि वाह मैंने कितना अच्छा किया वाह आई हैव परफॉर्म सो वेल अनएक्सपेक्टेड सो इज are these kind of conversation I have with myself or are these thoughts come to my mind? So Baba says, it may only be a dress, but it would deceive you at the appropriate time. Therefore, Baba Dada's desire is that fulfill your aim that you have for this year. As you move along, even though you don't make a specific mistake on a particular day. Now Baba is telling that uh, sometimes uh, what happened with us and we don't understand that why am I feeling low or why am I not feeling energetic. So Baba has again uh, explained it very nicely. So Baba said, as you move along, even though you don't make a specific mistake on a particular day or a, at a particular time, you do sometimes experience not knowing why there is not happiness that there should be on that day or at that moment. You don't know why today there is loneliness, hopelessness, or suddenly a storm of best thoughts underlying some days we don't even understand that why am I not feeling happy? Why am I feeling lonely, hopeless? Or there is a storm of best thoughts. You had Amrit Vela, you went to the class, you did service, you did your job. And so why is this happening? Even the parameters which Baba call Ishwari Niyam and Maryada, we even have followed it accurately. Amrit Vela kiya, Muli class bhi kiya, Seva bhi ki, Job bhi kiya. Then why is this happening? Not understanding, right? Sometimes it happens. 
what is the reason? Through checking in the gross form, you understand that there has not been a mistake made, but the trace of subtle form of arrogance emerges. Very, very important and a very subtle checking. Whenever we feel like that, Baba says, that is not because of anything, but there is a trace of a subtle form of arrogance emerges. We could not hold uphold our complete simplicity. That is why it has come like this either in the form of vest thoughts or nirasha, hopelessness or loneliness. This is why you are unable to focus your heart and any task. We have been doing everything, but we are not liking it as if we are doing it mechanically. We are not deriving pleasure or happiness as we are supposed to from each of the world. It is like a methodical way we have been doing this, but my heart is not there. So that's the reason Baba says subtle form of arrogance. There is only disinterest and you just feel sad. You know, sometimes we say that we don't feel like. <laughs> Very important, right? We, we, we say this. I don't feel like, you know. There is only disinterest and you just feel sad. You then either wish to go to a place of solitude or you think about going to sleep. We think that we leave everything alone, go away. Or Baba says, we feel like, let me have a nap, let me go to sleep. Maybe I will feel better, maybe I'm very tired. So Baba says, you wish to go for a rest or to move away from the family for a little while. Or we think, oh, too much I am doing service here or too much attachment, engagement, involvement in the family. Maybe I really have to take rest. I really give rest to my mind. But Baba says, no, these are not the reason. Jo reasoning hum kar rahe hote hai, these are not the real reasons. That is because, again, as Baba says, trace of a subtle form of arrogance emerges. Ahankar hai kahi hamara. And jo ahankar kaha kaha hai, Baba ne pehle paragraph mein bata diya. Baba has already told all the subtle arrogance that emerges from out of uh, what? What are the fields? What are the areas? So further, Baba is telling here, the reason for all the states is the wonder of the trace of something. Don't even call it wonder. Baba says, Kamal. But call it upheaval, Kamal. Baba says, ye hota hai, kyunki kuch kamal ho rahe. Baba says, usko kamal bhi nahi kaho, dhamal kaho. To be completely egoless means easily to become subtle and incorporeal. Akari or nirakari. Sometimes you don't have any desire to do anything. You think, is this going to be our timetable all the time? Sometimes we are very um, bored, you know, to do uh, the job. Uh, everyday job, the same, same job, waking up, Amrit Vela, Amurli class, um, doing the service for the family or whatever, and then doing job and again, Numasham. So we get bored out of this timetable. So Baba says there has to be some change. We, we say it, we feel it. Will this timetable be the same all the time? This is what are the question rises. You arrive at this stage even against your will. We, we know that this is important, that this is the dincharya I should follow, but still there are questions. My heart and my head are not in sync. When you become egoless, Father Baba says, when you become egoless, 
you will not wish to come down from the subtle and incorporeal stages. You will experience yourself to be lost in that. Very beautiful. So Baba says, when you will have the test of it, na, you really don't want to come out from it. This Akari and Nirakari stage, that feeling, the Mahisusta, you always want to experience. Why your original stage is incorporeal and why would, you, would we like it? Because our original stage is incorporeal, isn't it? Baba is asking. The incorporeal soul has entered that body. The body has not entered the soul. Very important. But the soul has entered the body. So your original eternal form is incorporeal, isn't it? Or is it that of a bodily being? The support of the body has been taken, but who has taken the support? You, the incorporeal soul, have taken the support of the corporeal body. So what is original? The soul or the body? The soul. Are you sure about this? Baba is asking. Are you sure about this? Is it easy to stabilize yourself in that original stage or in the stage of taking support? What is easy? The door of arrogance to enter is one word, Baba says. I will read this para and then we will uh, go for churning because we have two days to complete this murli. So Baba is telling the door of arrogance is to enter is one word and another checking Baba is doing. Kya jata hai? What is the word? It is the word I. I am very talented. I have the special virtue. I have the special sanskar. I could have done it better than the way they performed, right? So practice whenever the word I is used Bring the original form in front of you. Who am I? Who am I? Should it be the soul or it should it be I am such and such a person? You give knowledge to others that the word I makes you fly and the same word I makes you fall. Very important. I hame urti kala me bilis ja sakte hai, hame urabi sakta hai, or hame girabi sakta hai. How am I using this I is entirely depending uh, on, I mean, how am I, what is my stage is entirely depending how am I using this what. I, your original incorporeal form is remembered and it becomes natural, then this first lesson is easy, isn't it? So check this, instill this habit, instill this habit, very, very important. I am the Avyakta Farishta. I am incorporeal. I am vegan vinashak. I am sweet angel of Baba. I am a soul. As soon as you think I, the incorporeal form should enter your awareness. Agar hum aise yaad kare, to bohat hi jaldi wo nirakari avastha humare smriti mein a jayega. How many times do you say I? I say this. I will do this. I think this throughout the day, we use it, right? That I have to do this after the Murli class. I have to uh, uh, complete this work, whatever. So Baba say you use the word I many times. So this is the easy way to become incorporeal and subtle. Whenever you use the word I, your incorporeal and original form should instantly come in front of you. Is this difficult or easy? Baba is further asking. Then your qualifications are certain to become equal to your aim. Agar aise hum karte hai, to Baba ni kaha laksh or lakshan 
समान हो जाएगा सिंपली एडोप्ट दिस इजी मेथड ऑफ बिकमिंग ईगोलेस एंड सी दिस इज आई ऑफ एरिगेंस ऑफ द बॉडी शुड फिनिश it is the word i that brings you into arrogance of the body if you bring into your awareness the form of i the incorporeal soul then this word i will take you beyond the arrogance of the body this is right isn't it throughout the day you make plans what do you think sorry uh, throughout the day you probably use the word i 25 to 30 times 100% right we use it 25 to 30 times you may not say it but you probably think it hum bol ke nahi karte hain lekin hum sochte hain ki mujhe ye karna hai mujhe wo karna hai even when you make plans what do you think when you have practiced doing something so many times what will happen to the awareness of the form of the soul it will make you incorporeal become incorporeal become a subtle angel carry out your task and then become incorporeal once again baba says become incorporeal become a subtle stage carry out your task and then again become incorporeal once again आकारी फरिश्ता बन के हम कार्य करें और फिर हम निराकारी बन जाए कम इन टू रिलेशनशिप विद द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ कर्मा कर्म संबंध से हम काम करें कर्म बंधन से नहीं डू नॉट ब्रिंग बॉन्डेज इन अ रिलेशनशिप टू हैव एरिगेंस ऑफ द बॉडी मीन्स टू कम इन टू अ बॉन्डेज ऑफ कर्मा टू कम इन टू अ रिलेशनशिप विद द बॉडी मीन्स टू हैव अ रिलेशनशिप ऑफ कर्मा there is difference between two to come into a relationship with body means to have a relationship of karma very important as baba um, explained it in the previous uh, paragraph that never forget that me soul has entered into this body taken the support of this body this body is not real i the soul is real so when we would remember that so we will surely come in relationship of karma hum karm sambandh mein aayenge there is a difference between the two there is a difference between taking the support of the body and to be under the influence of the body ek hai body ka sahara lena dusra hai body ke prabhav mein aana taking the support of the body an angel an incorporeal soul will not come into the bondage of the body they will have a relationship but not come into bondage during this year bab dada will see the result to what extent has the aim and the qualification of becoming egoless subtle angels and incorporeal become equal so i will stop here beautiful nilay we would read it for the tomorrow rest of the part so now whatever we have heard it's a checking right i feel these are the points we always keep in front of us we will think about it and we will take a moment of silence maybe i can play a soft music and we will share our journey after that thank you very much om shanti
think now we can unmute ourselves and share the journey. Om Shanti. Om Firstly, Shanti, hybrid uh, well. Yeah, sister, very, very nicely explained. And I agree with you. This is a very important Murli because it is forcing us to really mm. go deep in thought and challenge our own uh, arrogance, actually, yeah. which we may be having in subtle forms and we may be thinking, oh, I'm this, I'm that even if we are yeah. not doing it at a conscious level. I think this is mainly the I at a very subconscious level where you think you're doing a great thing, you know. So mm. I think uh, this really, uh, at least for me, I'm going to definitely ponder very deeply on all my subtle arrogances, which I'm sure I have, and mm. uh, work on it. So thank you, sister, for uh, highlighting this Murli. And I definitely think that there's a lot to learn from this Murli. Om Shanti. Thank you, Harpreet sister. Yeah, we all have to do it. Yes. Sister. Um, yes, I don't, know whether, ask, I don't know whether to ask this question or not. Mm -hmm. But still, this uh, Ravan tha, mm -hmm. maybe bahut aham tha. He said, I'm the most powerful being on this uh, earth, mm -hmm. is it? And when we say that I'm a powerful soul, so what is the difference Like, what is the difference between what he told and what we uh, say every day? Robin used to say that out of arrogance, out of intoxication, out of bossiness, as Baba has given us three parameters, Arrogance, ahinka, nasha, intoxication, that I can do it very well. I am the master of it. No one can become like this. No one is as talented as I am. I have a very great intellect. Okay. And another is bossiness, that I am experienced. I am the master of this kala. It can be like cooking for an example like so i i know that i am uh, the authority of making some kind of dish so when somebody i'm giving the instruction to somebody i'm saying no 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 you have to do it like this it should be like this it shouldn't be like this so we have to really check that out of what i am telling what is my state and what is my state of mind? How am I feeling when I am just giving the instruction or I am just teaching something to somebody? Is it out of bossiness, out of intoxication or out of arrogance? Then as we say that I feel, yes, I'm powerful, but the way Ravan used to feel the power, powerful, used to feel that he is powerful. Okay, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Yesterday, uh, I was listening a very beautiful class um, of Adi Ratan. Uh, I don't know how many of you know Kunj Dadi. So she was uh, sharing that once uh, Baba, Brahma Baba, Sakar Baba, uh, he was uh, uh, cleaning the gehu, you know, a wheat. So he was cleaning the gehu and Dadi uh, that time used to take the course in Bridge Kuti. Bridge Kuti. They came from Pakistan and they started uh, living in uh, Mount Abu. So that time it was Bridge Kuti. So she used to, after Brajinda Dadi, she used to take the course. So uh, th that time that uh, Niam was that on the seventh day after the course is over, they were supposed to meet Sakar Baba. So uh, that brother, he was a Jigyasu. So he had a lot of questions during his course also uh, because uh, he was some uh, famous personality, whatever. So Dadi came down. Um, he, she used to take the class at the second floor. So Dadi came down and uh, he saw that Baba is cleaning Gehu with Mama and few other sisters. So uh, Dadi said, Baba, you have to come along with me because the brother wants to meet you. So Baba says, Bachi, unko yaha pe bulao. Uh, just call the brother here. 
So Dadi said, Baba, I have uh, done, I have put so much of effort. I have done the course with him for seven days and each day he wanted to meet you. And I have given the knowledge that Baba wo hai jinke tan mein bhagwan aata hai. And he runs this Madhur Mahavakya Murli. And if the person would see you in this form, what he will think about you, Baba? How can he uh, believe that you are that person? So Baba looked at Mama and said, uh, Look, Bacchi me dehe ahenka ra raha hai. Baba ne uh, Mama ko kaha that she is coming into body consciousness. So Baba ne kaha, no Bacchi, I will meet him here only. You just call him. So Dadi realized that uh, <laughs> no further discussion will make any difference. So he brought that brother there. Also, she, she said that she was very, um, uh, I mean, she was in the dual mind that don't know how it is going to become, what he will think about Baba. So Baba just looked at him and within a second, that brother had Sakshatkar of Vishnu. So you can see that Baba's simplicity, Baba's nirahankarita, Baba Sakar Baba, he was so, he knew everything, right? What he's going to become, his Adi Madhya Anta, he knew everything. Yet, he is cleaning Gehu with other sister, he is meeting the Jigyasu at that stage. Are we like that? Are we that simple? Or we are still conscious about our image or something? It, it, it was really an eye-opener for me. So I thought maybe it would be relevant to share with you all as today's Murti also on Nirahim Karita. Thank you. Over to you. Yes, Anshula. Om Shanti. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying the chirping of birds also. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, always there. One, 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 Baba Chidiya, you are also saying, and few more have come attracted by your vibration to so Congress. Uh, and today, very early, Baba, you yes. know, he, he's uh, talk emphasize on one point either on knowledge, yoga, dharna, seva. So today, whole Murli as as teacher the ocean of knowledge, he is so beautifully, with so much of efforts yet, in that that uh, karvi ghutti, that uh, dose of tonic to be drank, but uh, with so much of love, Baba is making us drink, and uh, really so much uh, subtle chuckings requires, so much mm. is happening every moment. Whole yes. day, one time comes when we aren't feeling that good motivated all the time like we do so maybe impact of some other subtle ego whatever so i'll share very very small example uh, yes. day before yesterday uh, my husband and daughter they went to visit uh, grandparents mm -hmm. i mean daughter went to meet here so they they stay nearby so i happened to send two dishes uh, whatever their favorite dishes were. So every time, no, Dadaji, he flaunts like Anshu cooks so well. And I feel it's always kind of a derogatory remark for Dadi. And he tells also, like, Dadi never cooks me and gives me such things. So husband, as usual, he just wrote, he, she, both the things were so appreciated. Then immediately I said, Baba made it so delicious i didn't do anything because mm -hmm. i told baba i don't want anyone to feel bad because uh, they are feeling good the other person is not feeling that good she couldn't cook it so well so i felt so light it happened day before yesterday so i was mm -hmm. just checking baba thoda thoda you made me pass with honor i was feeling so happy about to read it because every time they pray so nice. I, feel, I feel yeah. so more good and other person is not feeling that good, no? When she's 24 True. into 7 serving him, and because of my some special effects, I'm making her feel low because of my some True. creativity. So True. I told Baba, no, nothing doing. I didn't accept any praises. All went to Baba. Om Shanti. Beautiful. Yes, very true. The small, small, subtle thing, we really need to check like this. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Anshu sister, for opening my eyes also. 
through you my eyes also opened because uh, the the word which you said baba that really catched me today like you know even i used to a uh, few days back even i got some appreciations and all and manni man my seams were got opened and uh, phool rahi balloon ki tarah phool rahi thi so immediately Shanshan. i should have told baba <laughs> thank you anshu ben <laughs> very nice just that word baba makes so much of difference right <laughs> true very true in her preach sister had written very nice thing like sometimes you know we wear white dress we are going to murli class and we are taking this knowledge so that is also like yeah i have been following this and i'm doing this i'm into the spiritual journey but important is how i have become how am i becoming need ahankarita to usme bhi ahankar aa jata hai very well said her preach man and uh, as anshu sister said um, what happens sometime is that you are you might know one thing already it can be some technical thing or it can be cooking anything maybe you know how to prepare it how to do it and somebody is giving you gyan on that so that person is feeling very good to teach you but you say i know this okay you please go for i mean aage badho you move forward i already know it okay so that is i feel that kind of an arrogance because that person is feeling that when i'm teaching her or him he is feeling very good she is feeling very good so we really have to give them the chance that yes you have taught me this maybe i knew that from before but when we see that somebody is feeling very good to tell me that we should not take away that feeling from them to say i know i know i i already uh, know this okay so no that is also you see a small arrogance i i have it is it is my thing i mean when i had read this murli um i think two weeks back so uh, i mean started reading this murli so this thing i have checked that i think oh it's a waste of time i know i know you please go uh, move forward <laughs> so but that person is feeling very good she feels that she is teaching me that he feels that he is telling me and i am listening uh, for the first time and now i will follow that so let them be in the feeling now what is wrong in that so that is also a kind of seva that is also a kind of nirahankarita we can practice that is what i feel so with Sister, the interest can i just of... uh, add one yeah. small sentence which ha, just came ha, to ha, my ha, mind ha. when i was just uh, thinking about baba so i thought i must share it immediately <laughs> uh yes, you know, yes, in, this, in this in this mudli the i since it is such a significant one i just was thinking about it if we split the i into the double light form Mm-hmm. the i which empowers you to do your daily actions and your thoughts and which you also require to execute whatever baba is wanting you to do and the other i is your subtle uh, angelic form which mm-hmm. when you say i'm a powerful soul i'm a peaceful soul that i is the soul form and somewhere if these two eyes are always connected but without the ego would be mm-hmm. my what you call lakshya aim mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Very true. Yes, I prefer. So, with the interest of time, uh, we just have to um, meditate for one minute, maybe. We are over time, so just be in silence and uh, think what all we have heard from today's movie, and how am I going to implement that, apply that throughout the day. throughout this week and throughout my life thank you so much
Thank you, everyone. We will meet again tomorrow at the same time. Om Shanti. Have a beautiful day. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you.